Hey there everyone. I hope this video finds you all in good spirits. Um, I had a testimony I wanted to share. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, when I was going to school, going to college, I was a commuter and it was about a 30 minute drive for me. And I was, I had just one class that I had to go to that day. And so I was getting ready to leave and I felt the Holy Spirit, I sensed the Holy Spirit was telling me to not go to, not go to class. And I just thought, well, that, that's really weird. That can't be the Holy Spirit. And uh, so I was uncomfortable doing that because I just didn't want to miss anything from class. And so I decided to go. And as I'm heading towards class, I'm hungry. And I want to stop and get something to eat. But if I stop and get something to eat, uh, I know I'm going to be late for class. And so I felt like, just like how I felt the Holy Spirit was telling me to not even go to class, I felt like the Holy Spirit was then telling me, get yourself, if you're going to go, get yourself something to eat first, then go. And so I didn't have enough faith to stay home, but I did have enough faith to get myself something to eat, knowing that it was going to make me late. So I went, got something to eat, had a nice lunch. I'm leaving to head to school, and uh, I pray, Holy Spirit, I pray that I get to class either on time or at the right time whichever whatever words I used but I already knew I was going to be late so that felt kind of like a uh, uh, I don't know what the word would be an oxymoron kind of a prayer or just like an illogical prayer to pray but I felt like the Holy Spirit was like literally leading me to pray that prayer so I just prayed that prayer Holy Spirit I pray I get to class on time even though I'm already late I get to class or I get to the school the college and I'm pulling into the parking lot and there's this girl that I recognize from my class and she's walking she's walking to her car in the parking lot and I stop my car in the parking lot and I holler at her I said hey you're in my my class aren't you she said yeah I'm like, what are you what are you doing what happened why are you leaving she told me that the power on campus went out and class got canceled. And so <clears throat> I, I I remind myself of this story constantly and I want to share it with others because I think this is just a, a small example of how the Holy Spirit is speaking to us and he's always just wanting to help us out, make our days as as easy as he can and he can he, he, he can do a lot for us um, and for me in my situation if I had had enough faith to just listen to him at the very beginning and just stay home relax not go to school that would have been best case scenario for me right because Holy Spirit's God Holy Spirit knows the future the Holy Spirit knew that the power on campus was going to go out. And so the Holy Spirit's trying to help me out saying, Hey, I don't want you wasting your time. I want you enjoying your day, making the most out of your day as you can. Stay home. And so when I did not have enough faith to do that, I at least had enough faith to stop and get myself a nice lunch, enjoyed a nice lunch. And then so that way when I did get to class, it was just like didn't even have to get out of my car, didn't even have to walk to the classroom. I got there at just the right time, on time, so to speak, to run into that girl that was in my class, for her to tell me that it was canceled, and I just drive right on back home. And so I feel like something something that I was told before 
again, that I always try and remind myself of is that faith reaches out and takes hold of what grace provides. So God's always speaking to us. The Holy Spirit's always speaking to us. The only question is, when we, when we hear the Holy Spirit speak to us, give us direction to go to do something that we're not quite that comfortable with. Are we going to are we going to listen and take that step of faith or are we just going to stay inside of our comfort zone? So again for me, best case scenario, I would have just stayed home. Second best case scenario, I went and got myself some lunch. So I was in middle of the road there, so to speak. And, you know, my prayer is for myself and for all of you watching this video that the first time the Holy Spirit tells us to do something, we would not be afraid to, to listen and we would always be able to experience what God's best is for us. And to just, that's what faith is, is trusting in God. That we would just trust God knowing that he's always got our best in mind for us. He's always more than we know, more than what we think's best. He knows what's best. And he's always leading us, always trying to help us out. Just will will we open our hearts? Will we trust him? Be willing to maybe take a risk, go outside our comfort zone for him to, to help us. But at the very end of the day, you know, looking back and reflecting on it, just the lesson that I learned from that experience is worth and from other experiences like it is is worth more than any of that you know so I hope this helps you guys maybe you'll have an aha moment looking back on your life when something like this has happened to you maybe you'll start I hope I pray you'll be able to start sensing that that inner small that inner voice that whisper from now on being able to discern the difference between his voice and your voice and the enemy's voice, the devil's voice. And uh, I pray for you to be able to tap in, tap into that and, and all of the amazing things that God has for you. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.